Hey guys, welcome back to the Al Ferrari and the seemingly never ending bodywork. But uh, this week, hopefully, we can put the doors back on and fingers crossed, get all of the bog work done. All right guys, welcome back. And those of you who were watching previously will have seen that I have been spending the last few weeks getting all of the bodywork absolutely flat on this, uh, on the Alfa Ferrari. It's taken a lot of time. Uh, it's just very tedious putting on a skim, sanding it off and, uh, and sort of testing and seeing how I go. Um, if you missed it, I'll put a link up above so you can catch up and um, hit the subscribe button. It does help us out. So today, getting back into it, I'm going to go through and continue the sort of the work on the rear end and whilst waiting for uh, skims of bodywork to come through, I'm going to start replacing all of the door seals again and fitting the doors again, hopefully for the final time so they can get everything just right, uh, ready to do the final uh, bodywork, get the doors perfectly lined up. Getting these seams perfect, as I mentioned in the last video, I'm going to be using the tape method to, uh, to get the seams perfect all the way along the car, which I'll show you in a little bit. So um, enough talking, let's um, start some sanding and some refitting of some seals. So this is a very small snapshot of how much sanding is involved. A little bit of uh, hammering it just to take down the high spots and just sanding, sanding, sanding. Then here I start fitting the trim that holds the rubber around the door frame. And one of my least favorite jobs of all is refitting this rubber, which I've done so many times. And it's gonna have to come out again before paint and then go in again afterwards, but hopefully that will be the last time because it's so painful. <sighs> I really hate putting in the uh, the rubber trim, but it needs to go in. I need to get the door to close the way it's going to close. I had to use WD-40 on it, which is uh, definitely not good uh, when you're going to paint things, but uh, that's just what I need to do. So I'm going to make sure I just clean everything up properly and it will be fine. So the next thing I need to do is mount the door. So I'm going to get the uh, latch back on there and uh, let's put some doors on. Okay, so once I got the rubber back in and got the door back on, uh, using my little holes that I drilled in my hinges to uh, put in a two and a half mil drill bit, uh, that made it so much easier to line the doors up. Doors went straight on. Still took a little bit of uh, you know, slight adjustment, but I'm not sitting there for hours getting it all adjusted. And the door sits nice and flat. The lines are nice and even, so that means it makes it much easier now to go back over and, uh, and do the last minute just fettling and just blending the doors together so that they're spot on. So let's uh, get them lightly sanded, ready to uh, start putting that little skim coat on. All right, so I've got the doors all lined up and I've gone around and I've put a skim on the edges to, uh, for where they overlap, just to be able to blend them together. Um, the rest of the car is coming out pretty good. Um, lots of sort of skims all the way around it, just continually working backwards and forwards, getting it just right. And over on this door, yeah, we're just, uh, I'm just sort of working my way around, just getting, getting it right. It's taken a couple of skims, um, working all the way along the bottom of the door where it was a little bit wavy from uh, shaping it and getting it all right. 
because I want this car absolutely perfect. It just takes time going over the whole thing, but we're getting close. So now I need to get up here and uh, sand back the roof to uh, make sure that is spot on. Well, that is the end of day two so far on this uh, week's episode. And uh, as you can see, I've still got a long way to go. Uh, just giving you an idea of how slow this process is. It's, um, it's a lot of sanding. My arms are getting a good workout, but um, anyway, um, I'll leave you here and I'll meet you back here first thing in the morning. All right, uh, it's the following morning and I am back in the garage getting ready to uh, get stuck in again. And as I mentioned very briefly last week, what I need to move forward on today is uh, getting these lines down the side of the car really nice and crisp. So uh, all of these body lines, this one along here, these ones along the top here, even the ones on the bonnet edge here, all really want to be nice and uh, reasonably sharp. And uh, also, when you look down the side of the car, I've done a lot of work trying to keep this reasonably straight, but if I, if I get down the side of the car, there's still some waves in the, uh, the body line that I don't want to be there. And that's what I'm going to tackle now. Um, it's a method using some tape and I'm going to put the tape on here and I'm going to do this several times over the course of this build because obviously at the moment everything is just centered back with 40 grit. I need to do it again with 80 grit. Um, then once I high fill primer it, uh, I'm going to go over it again and do the lines again and sand to the lines to get keep that nice sharp uh, edge the whole time over and over and over to keep things looking nice and crisp and, uh, and neat and tidy. So... Um, let's get out the tape and I'll show you what I'm going to do uh, to get the line nice and straight. So basically what I want to do to start with is run the tape along the bottom edge of this swage line. And if I do it like, like I'm doing here, from here, it's going to get, you st we'll stand back at the end, it's going to look really wavy and really horrible. So the way to get a nice even line all the way down the side of the car, particularly because pretty much every car has a bow to it. It makes it much easier to stand back, tape it at the front, and then look along the line and just lay the tape down as you go back. And, and if you get it wrong, you can sort of just lift it off and just lay it on and look down the line of the car. And that way you can get it nice and even all the way down. And uh, it's just a matter of taking your time to do it properly and get a nice, neat, even line. So you can see here, I'm just adding a little skim using the tape edge as a guide. And this can be done doubling the tape up if you need a bit of extra space, but uh, it's just enough to give a bit of a lip. So you can see I've taken the tape off now and I've just got this nice crisp line all the way along just showing me where uh, the edges are. And same along the top edge, just a nice crisp line which I will let set up completely. I took the tape off while it was still a little bit tacky and I'll let that completely set up and then I can come back and I'm just gonna, just gonna lightly brush it off with 80 grit and then do the same thing from the top and just sharpen up that line just a little bit. So here you can see I'm just lightly knocking that line I just put on there down slightly with 80 grit. And now going back with the tape on the other side of the line so that I get a, uh, a nice build up of that pointy edge that I'm looking for. And uh, that really helps give that nice crisp shape. 
All right, so I've been working away now for three full days, just tweaking and, uh, and just adjusting, adding and uh, getting things right. It's, this is the time to do it, just get it right now. Um, it does take a lot of time. One thing I did want to mention is, some of you may have noticed that in uh, the sanding stage, I've been using the DA sander a little bit. And what I find is, you don't want to use this over a, uh, a whole section because you'll end up getting waves in it. It's just not flat enough. It's tempting to use because it works quicker than just doing things by hand. But I've found that this actually um, helps save the paper on the block. If you go straight onto fresh uh, filler, it's got a like a sheen on the surface that seems to clog up the block quite a lot. Whereas if I run over the top and just knock the top of it off with the DA, it does clog up the DA disc a bit and it gets little um, sort of spots and lumps on it that's uh, not that uh, great. This one's not too bad. Um, it means that the sandpaper on the block lasts so much longer. So by, by knocking the top off with the DA, um, A, it saves a little bit of time because I can get the, the highest spots down and get it flat-ish and then use the block to get it perfectly flat. That's the way uh, I've been doing it and uh, it works really well. I'm quite happy with that method. So um, anyway, uh, also the tape method has been working really well. Just going backwards and forwards, laying the tape on, getting the edges right, looking down the side of the car and I've got now this sort of nice crisp edge all the way along the, uh, the uh, sides of the car. Same on the top edge here. Just get it nice and crisp. When the final paint's done, it won't be that crisp. I can knock that down later, but I want to make sure it's crisp now and then I can knock it down at sort of the high fill stage just so it's just not, I mean, you don't want a super sharp uh, line, just just get it right. So anyway, that's three whole days of work on this and it's still not done. The boot's not on yet. Uh, I still got to do the boot and do the uh, around the boot and get that perfectly level. It's just, uh, it's just time. Um, again, I know it's not the most interesting, but it's got to be done. So um, Anyway, I think it means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. All right, and unfortunately, Mrs. Jeff has got the cold that I had. We've both had colds off and on for the last couple of weeks, and Mrs. Jeff is down with uh, a horrible cold this week. So there won't be any Fun Facts. Uh, unfortunately this week, but we have made a lot of progress on the Alfa Ferrari. Um, getting these seams nice and neat and crisp has been a big step forward. Um, still got the boot to go to get that all tidied up. It's, it's close and uh, I'm pretty certain that uh, this week I should be able to get it all ready for the, uh, the high build primer. So uh, hopefully you'll join me for that. Um, if you enjoyed this do the usual things like subscribe. Um, if you want to watch the videos a day early, ad free before everybody else, uh, join us on Patreon. And um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can keep this as interesting as possible through the uh, the very tedious bodywork stage. But a very important stage it is. So we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. See ya.